Split Second is a 1992 sci-fi horror that has rightfully earned its status as a cult classic, particularly for fans of gritty dystopian films. Directed by Tony Malum and starring the ever-charismatic Rutger Hauer, the movie is set in a near-future London flooded by rising waters, reflecting both environmental decay and urban collapse. This combination of cyberpunk aesthetics, horror, and noir makes Split Second a unique cinematic experience. At the heart of the film is Rutger Hauer's performance as Harley Stone, a burned-out, rebellious detective haunted by the death of his partner. Hauer, known for his roles in other sci-fi classics like Blade Runner, brings a rugged, sarcastic charm to the character. He plays Stone with a sense of chaotic unpredictability, constantly teetering on the edge of control. His portrayal brings the gritty tone needed for the film, and his gruff demeanor is offset by the sharp, often dark humor of his dialogue, creating a character you can't help but root for, even as he navigates the bizarre circumstances he faces. The film follows Stone as he hunts down a mysterious, monstrous serial killer who seems to be more than human. The city's rainy, waterlogged setting mirrors the darker, apocalyptic undercurrent running through the film. It's a world falling apart, much like the protagonist. The film plays heavily on themes of urban decay, paranoia, and an almost supernatural sense of evil lurking within the confines of this future London. The creature itself, a twisted hybrid of man and beast, is revealed sparingly, which works in the film's favor, keeping the horror grounded in suspense and unease. The killer's origins are never fully explained, leaving a chilling ambiguity about its nature. This lack of clarity heightens the film's dystopian terror, where humanity seems powerless against both natural and supernatural forces. One of Split Second's greatest strengths is its atmosphere. The film creates a claustrophobic sense of tension, with dimly lit, rain-soaked streets and flooded underground locations providing the perfect backdrop for Stone's hunt. This heavy use of rain and water evokes the cyberpunk visual style of films like Blade Runner or Dark City, giving the world of Split Second an oppressive yet aesthetically captivating feel. The bleak environment contributes heavily to the tone, helping the audience feel Stone's frustration and urgency. The rain and darkness, in a sense, become characters themselves. When viewed today, Split Second might seem a bit dated to modern audiences, especially in its effects and pacing. The 1990s aesthetic, complete with over-the-top action sequences, tough guy one-liners, and a noirish detective plot may come across as campy. However, it's this very campiness that gives Split Second its cult appeal. Fans of retro sci-fi and horror will find the practical effects and Howard's performance nostalgic and enjoyable. Modern audiences may critique the film's creature design or its somewhat thin plot, but they may also appreciate its raw energy and gritty, unpolished style, which has become rare in today's more polished, CGI-heavy blockbusters. For its time, Split Second was an underappreciated gem. It didn't break box office records or win critical acclaim, but it offered a unique blend of genres, combining elements of noir, sci-fi, and horror in a way that wasn't often seen. Howard's performance carries the film, and its themes of environmental collapse and urban decay still resonate with current anxieties about climate change and overpopulation. Split Second remains a film that deserves its cult status. Messy, intense, atmospheric, and full of the kind of eccentricities that make it memorable. While not perfect, its imperfections give it character. And for fans of 90s genre films, it's a must-see. For modern audiences, it's a fun, nostalgic trip that showcases why Rutger Hauer remains a beloved figure in cult cinema.